your pipes are one of the most used systems in your home and or business, and it's bound to happen, right? Get a clogged pipe, problem with a drain. What do you do? Can you prevent that from happening? Well, today's CI Home sponsor, Schoonover Sewer Service, knows the answer. And Lucas Schoonover, the operations supervisor and second generation in the company, joins me with more. Hey, Lucas, how are you? Hello, Tim. Great to see you, man. Uh, you guys have been around for a long time. I know this because uh, back when I was in junior high and high school, the company still existed. So uh, it's been it's been forever. Yes, sir. That's right, man. This is our 36th year of business, and uh, so we've been trucking along pretty well. It's grown from the back of my father's pickup truck, and now we've got uh, eight vans and servicing 70 different communities. So it's entrepreneur at its best. It's come a long way. Uh, it's called uh, Scootover Sewer Service. You guys are, are very, very specialized in what you do, primarily focusing on just getting your, your home and your sinks and everything to drain properly. Is that correct? That's right, man. It's, uh, you know, when you have had to have our services, you understand the importance and the urgency that it takes. So if you've ever been without a sewer system or, gosh, if you're having company in your bathroom sink doesn't drain, it can be a big, it can be embarrassing, right? So you, all those types of things that drain water or waste, uh, can create a big problem in a hurry. And so when that comes into play, we try to get our guys out to people as fast as we can. I would imagine you have kind of two sides of your business. You have the, oh no, this is an emergency, please come now side. And then you have the, we want to prevent those emergencies from happening, so come on a regular basis. Let's let's talk about the fun side first, the, uh, the emergencies. How much of your business would you say is an emergency and what kind of things do you find yourself doing? Oh, boy. So that, uh, you know, just uh, different levels from commercial and residential, those problems can really be a lot of different things. So, uh, but just the simplest thing, if a sewer line is backed up, you lose your home. You run water in sinks, showers, toilets. Uh, it can cause backup in other areas of the home and, and simply won't go down. And so you really lose your house or your business until we can get out there to help people. So uh, it could be as simple as a, in a like an apartment building. They're stacked apartments above each other. And if a sink on the first floor uh, is clogged or no one's home everyone else is using their facilities but they don't realize it's causing a flood on the first level so that happens in homes businesses and that's that's kind of where things start where when you're running water in one place and it backs up in another that creates an, a, a pretty big urgency to get us out and uh obviously when it's detailed with sewer uh it's not very fun for customers or for anyone to deal with so probably not uh, you either actually when you go out there <laughs> What's that? Probably not real fun for you either when you go out to a couple of feet of whatever that is. That's right, man. So uh, <laughs> a lot of times when a backup occurs, it's not quite as bad as everyone thinks. Um, we definitely do see some of those situations that you, you wouldn't want to be a part of. But uh, truthfully, when a backup occurs, most people in businesses, they stop using their facilities, and that controls the backup. So it ends up being not as bad as it could be, but uh, there are those times where city sewers back up or, again, you have multiple apartments or families using the same facilities, and it can really get bad in a hurry. So you're exactly right. That kind of leads to the, you know, the preventative part where, like you said, yeah, we appreciate not coming to a mess and to try to prevent certain things from happening. So uh, we do a lot of that with tree root cleaning. A lot of our area uh, has old clay tile pipes. We work in 70 different communities, and that's probably the number one thing we are trying to prevent and also causes clogs. We're also just working to get those cleared as well. So what would your and, recommendation uh, then be for someone who goes, hey, I, I just want to make sure we're on a maintenance plan to make sure nothing's wrong. Uh, quickly, what does that look like? Well, typically we can do a couple things. Sometimes we can just clean your line and just do kind of a preventative cleaning and see if we even encounter anything. Um, we also have television equipment. So uh, I always compare that to like a colonoscopy for your sewer line. Uh, but it gives a lot of detailed information, and we learn a lot about structural integrity. And if there are issues, we can kind of pinpoint the depth and location of those things. And uh, so that's pretty much what a preventive maintenance would be. You either do a routine cleaning just to see if you have any issues. Uh, and then other times, like for buying and selling homes, we do a lot of televising for somebody buying a new property. It could be a ten, fifteen thousand dollar repair to fix a sewer line. So yeah. if you want to buy a property, you know you don't have to deal with that in the first few years. So we're doing a lot of televising before people move into a home as well. I bet. Well, hey, thank you for doing what you do. I know it's uh, literally dirty work, but uh, it's very, yes, very necessary. And uh, we'll point as many people your direction as we can. All right, Lucas.